Trainer here, and welcome back to hide and seek. It's been such a long time since I've actually played hide and seek, but if you guys want to see me do more of this, definitely hit that like button down below. And as always, if you're at all new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, become a part of the crazy family, and once you've done that, let me know down in the comments, and I'll respond to as many of you guys as I possibly can. And without any further ado, man, let's get right into that actually rhymed. Can, man? <sighs> I actually used to play this so much back in the day. So if you're at all new to hide and seek, basically uh, you can be the seeker or you can be the hider. The seeker has to find the hiders and the hiders have to hide from the seeker. And the hiders can like hide as a crafting table, a furnace, a beacon, a diamond block. And I'll show you guys that in a second. I'm actually really hyped to get back into this, man. I really am. I used to be so good at it. Not really. I'm never good at anything. <laughs> Here we go. We have to pick our block. Okay, what do we want to be? A furnace, hay bale, crafting table, block, a cola, books. I want to be a bookshelf. I want to be knowledge. You know that meme right there? Yeah, yeah, we need that knowledge, bro. Okay, let's see if we can successfully hide as a bookshelf. That's the goal right now. Nobody, we need to blend in. But another tactic I also have, which I might be able to show you guys soon, is that if you hide a place that's so obvious that people are like, nah, he can't hide, he can't be hiding there, that's too dumb to be true, then you can actually also win the game. So, that's one way to do it. Uh, I'm, I'm, right now, I'm gonna do the whole actually trying to blend in. As you can see, I am clearly a bookshelf. Ah! Go away on the bookshelf! There's no room for me, man. You'll bust my hiding place, dude. Yeah, you better run. You better run, Mr. Bookshelf. You, you better get out, out of here, dad. Okay, he's, he's away. Okay, good, good. Here we go. So now it's the Seeker's job to try and find me. And if he doesn't, if the Seeker doesn't find everybody that's hidden, the hiders win. As you can see in the side, there's 21 hiders alive right now and only one seeker. So that one seeker has to kill a hider, so it becomes two. That was the seeker right there. We now got two seekers against us, guys. Okay, it's two seekers against 20 hiders. We still got pretty good odds right here. Maybe I should try to move a little bit? Um, I'm kind of scared because I think it's pretty obvious that I would be hiding here. You know, or maybe it's not, you know, I'm just gonna, just gonna hope for the best. Hopefully nobody sees us. Okay, he's right there. He's right there. Shiny Squirtle is right. No, stop moving, Cold Block. You'll bust my freaking, go away. No, no. <gasps> Shiny Squirtle didn't see me. Okay, now I got a saw too. So if anybody comes close, I can actually fight back. He didn't see me. Oh, that was so intense, dude. I started sweating, bro. A uh, shiny squirtle. You better get up out of here. Get up out. Get out. Get on out of here. <laughs> Do you even English, bro? There's still only two seekers, though. So that's a good sign. Apparently, shiny squirtle kind of sucks at looking, which is good. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm just gonna stay here. Um, and uh, now there's three seekers. Oh, <sighs> the more you play this game, the uh, the lower the odds are. That That's about how all oh, shiny squirtle. You better not. You better, you better turn that butt around, bro. I just made noise. Okay. Okay, <laughs> am I good? <gasps> oh, I think he's gonna see me. I think, yeah, he's totally, go look, he's just punching everything. He's doing the tactic that, that's called punch everything. Hope for the best. So what do we do? What do we do? Oh, oh, he found, he found a furnace. <gasps> <gasps> Okay, there's two minutes left. There's seven seekers. I will be found at some point, but nine seekers now. Yo, the seekers are doing really good right about now, dude. All right, this guy will. I think this guy will hit me. I think this will be the guy that hits me because he's. Okay, no, he went the other way. <laughs> dude, this is. I'm actually really pumped right now. Oh my! If I actually win this game, I'm gonna be so proud of myself, dude. I'm gonna be so proud. Oh, okay, they're close. Okay, we got some people close to me now. We got a guy right there, guy right there, guy right there. We're surrounded. There's no way I can even fight back if anybody tries to hit me. No! No! 
<laughs> Dang it! Ah! Oh. Oh, I did really good though. I was hidden for a while. So when I die as a hider, I turn into a seeker and it's our job within the next minute to find the remaining five hiders. Okay, these are the blocks that are left. There's a jukebox left, three hay bales. That's a lot. And one jukebox. Oh, wait, I just burped. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, we got three hay bales left and one jukebox, so we gotta be careful about the hay bales. So somewhere on this map, there are three hay bales that shouldn't be here. You get my drift right here? So they are hiding from us, and they're not supposed to be in wh whichever position they are. No? Okay. Yo, where the crap are these fools, dude? I guess they would be hiding somewhere really good since nobody has found them yet, right? I don't see anybody in here. I don't see nobody. Yo, these hiders are really good. I think they're actually gonna win, which I'm actually happy about. Even though I'm on the Seekers team, I always secretly root for the hiders, dude. So, yeah. I, I, th I think they won. Good job, hiders. You definitely found a good place to hide. I have no idea where they are. Can't seem to find any hay bells that are out of the ordinary gg man that was a really good game the hiders have officially won i i can't be mad about that you did a really good job guys that that was amazing how the crap did three hay bells hide for that long that's what i want to know dude okay so we're, we're entering another game let's go into this one and um i actually really want to try to start out as a seeker i've never tried that before but anyway we'll play as a hider if we have to sure which block do i want to be i think i want to oh yeah flower pot nation dude yeah do you guys remember when i used to play this a whole lot i was always the flower pot it's the most amazing one to be dude i love being the flower pot all right, it's starting in a second. Let's see if we can make the Flower Pot Nation proud. That's my goal right now. We need to make it proud, guys. Two, one, and go. All right, so we are now this tiny little flower pot right here, and we have to find a place where we don't think anybody will find us. So what I want to do is actually a really good idea to, like, hide in water. It's actually a really good... Oh, yeah! <gasps> this is the map where I found that incredibly OP hiding spot at one point, dude. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this just because you're my friends. But look at this. I'm going to hide right up here, and when you turn into a block, you actually don't take any damage from water. No, beacon! You're gonna bust my hiding spot, bro! People will find you because you're a giant freaking beacon! I'm a little flower pot. Nobody will be able to find- Oh my, you, you just busted us. You just busted us, you stupid freaking beacon! Why would you do that? Oh, he's- <laughs> Look at that! The seeker is fighting somebody right now. <laughs> He's getting his butt kicked by some flower pot, man. That flower pot is straight out of cup, dude. Oh, it's a beacon. Look at that. <laughs> How is he actually getting beat up by us? Oh, we're gonna join. We're gonna join in and beat this guy up. We're gonna join. Everybody beat this guy up. We're gonna beat him up. Ow, ow, yo, he hit me, dude. Don't hit me. I'm just an innocent little flower pot, bro. Come on. Okay, no, we can't beat him. We can't beat him, guys. He has armor on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, hiders, but we can't. I gotta hide right here. Oh, he's actually... Wait, is... Seeker has been eliminated. The hiders just killed the seeker? Oh my goodness. All of these little flower pots just became one big army and killed the only seeker that there was, dude. Oh my, I've never seen that happen before. The flower pots actually killed the seeker. What's up, flower pot bros? We're just gonna hide here. Everybody, I think that's another hider right there. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right up here. This looks very, very suspicious, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we're kind of ruining it for this guy. I don't even know if that guy's a fake flower pot or not. I actually don't know at all. He might be a real one. <laughs> is this a hider or is this just like a real block? I, there's no way of telling, man. There's no way of telling. Okay, there's another. There's a lot of people in the flower pot nation today, that's for sure. If any seeker comes in here, he's just gonna kill every single- Oh, there's so many hiders in here. Look, they're just all moving around. That guy just turned into a block. Oh, and this guy might be a block, like a hider too. Oh, look at that. It's a flower pot party, dude. Jump around. Yo, look at that guy, dude. Yo, why do you want to hide there instead of the other corner? That doesn't really make any difference. I think I want to go over here and hide a bit more, uh, like, right here. I feel like this hiding place is way better. I don't know why. It just, it doesn't look that out of place, right? I mean, there could be a, a pot here. 
Why not, dude? I guess the best way of being good at this game is just knowing the maps inside and out. I guess that's the absolute best way of doing it. Yo, no! Bro, get away from here, man! You're gonna bust my cover if you keep jumping like that, because what do you think's gonna- Guys! No, this is my, my spot, man! What do you think's gonna happen if a freaking Seeker sees two flower pots jumping up and down? He's gonna also hit this flower pot right here. You guys are terrible, man. You guys- you guys are messing this up for me. Get out of here, bro. Get... Get out of here. I'm not sharing my amazing hiding spot with you, plebs. Who do you think you are? 40 seconds left and I'm still alive, dude. This has been an amazing game for the hiders. I think I'm gonna survive until the end, but there's still this really annoying flower pot just jumping all around me, so that guy might actually ruin, for, ruin it for me. Cross your fingers, guys. Everybody, 30 seconds left. Well, the hiders are going to win no matter what in this map, but I just really want to be a part of that team that- What the crap just happened? Why did a sheep just blow up on me? Okay, 10 seconds left. Nine. Eight. Yo, dude, we actually gotta win this one. That is so freaking Get out of here, you freaking flower pots. You ain't got no business around these pots, and we won, dude. G freaking G. That was the best hiding game I think I've ever been in, dude. That was amazing. We actually all teamed up and killed a plip at the start of this map. I have never seen that in my days of hide and seek. I really have never seen that ever. Yo, that's amazing, man. Let's go for another one. Last hide and seek one for this game. Let's go. Maybe I can start off as the seeker. That would actually be kind of cool. Flower pot or bookshelf? I'm gonna go for flower pot. Wait, why are there so little options? So you can either only be a flower pot or a bookshelf. That's really easy for the seekers, man. How come? I've never had that happen before. Anyway, let's get into being flower pot maniacs, dude. Yeah, everybody is flower pots and bookshelves. And then there's also a leaf guy over here. I don't know what's going on with that. I've never had that happen before. So the seekers now know that they only have to look for flower pots and freaking bookshelves. That's pretty freaking easy if you ask me, dude. Right, let's try to climb on top of here. I mean, this is a pretty good hiding spot. Actually, can I get on top of this? Oh, yeah, I can, dude. Yo, that's really good. Yo, that's a really good hiding spot up here. Here we go. Nobody's gonna notice me up here, right? <laughs> I actually think I can survive this one, dude. Nobody will notice me up here. Oh, no. Flower pots, please stop messing it up for our brother. Please, dude. We're all in the flower pot nation. Can you please just not do that? Like, stop jumping around. This is my swag, dude. My town. This is my town. I run this city, bruh. Well, I'm still alive, and I actually think that nobody will find me. Like, I, I'm actually pretty confident that I won't get found this time. There's another flower pot right over there, which might make people want to also hit me. But apart from that, I actually think that I'm hiding pretty freaking well. We can taunt if we want to. Like, we can send out fireworks so they can see where we are. I don't understand why anybody would do that, but to each their own- Stop it! Flower pot, no! If we all gather in here, they're also gonna try to kill me and obviously I have the best hiding spot. Okay, they're pretty close to me now. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Okay, there's a guy running past right there. Another guy- Oh no. Please? Okay, he went the other way. He went the other way. That's a good thing. That's a good sign right there, guys. We just gotta stay strong. It's really a bummer that these two jerks are right there, though, because I'm telling you that if they are right there and a seeker, like, notices it, they're also gonna try to hit- That guy just sent out a firework. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? Huh? Is that guy seriously not seeing those two flower pots right next to each other? Oh, he found another one. Oh! Do we all attack him? Oh, no, I guess not. Okay. If that was that guy's fault, he sent off the firework, and now that guy got busted for it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They're being found now. I'm still alive, though. That's what you get for sending out a firework, dude. Why would you do that? I'm still alive, though. Ha, 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 ha. Staying alive. Okay, we got it. We got a guy close to us. Oh, <laughs> 
You didn't see us, dude. This is the best hiding spot ever. We got 50 seconds more to survive. I honestly feel like we are going to do it. I, I don't know how he should actually bust us right now. Like, we're right up here, dude. We gotta remember this hiding spot for this map because it's an amazing hiding spot, dude. So we gotta keep that in our brain. Oh, that actually hurts, dude. Ow. 15 seconds left and there's a guy in my building. Huh? Five seconds left. Three. Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, he went right past me, dude. That is freaking beautiful. You went right past me, you dumb dumb. I was right here all along, dude. I was right up there and you didn't see me. Ah, oh, it feels great to be able to hide that well, man. But anyway, crazy family, that's gonna have to be for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know. Thank you for all of the love and support, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!